Hey guys, this is Laura Craigie, a garden girl, two beads in a bucket. Today is finally Friday and we're going to do a card from start to finish. And actually this card is going to be a gift card holder as well as a card. It's going to do double duty. I thought it was kind of appropriate so with Christmas coming up you guys might have the need to do that. Um, just like I do. So I have my standard A2 size card base. This is paper. It's from the Garden Cafe line by American Crafts. I'm not sure if you can see it's Sorry, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a little bit glossy. And then I have this little envelope from Maya Road. And I'm going to start by just adhering this to the card base. Not adding a ton of adhesive because I'm going to go ahead and stitch it down in a moment here. On there. And then this envelope is what's going to hold the gift card. And I'm going to have it quite near the bottom. Again, a little bit of adhesive just to hold it down for when I run it through my sewing machine, which isn't necessary, but it's a little touch that I like to do on my cards. But if you don't have one, it'll totally work just as well. And then I'm going to chop off the rest of the envelope here, because we don't need it. And that's going to create the opening for the gift card to slide into. Just like that. And I'm going to go sew that now. Okay, so I'm back and I stitched up my card. I chose to round the corners before I did that too. And I just wanted to point out I did a perimeter stitch around the card and then it's got the stitching around the three sides of the envelope. I left this side unstitched because that's where we're going to put the gift card is right in between there. Kind of pop it open so you can see like that. That's where the gift card will go. And I have a bit of a confession to make is that I filmed this last night and I guess somehow my camera didn't record it or I accidentally deleted it, I'm not sure, so I'm redoing it today from this point on. So it's going to be a little more pre-planned than I normally am and I hope that's okay with you guys. So for what I use for the sentiment of my card, I have this, um, kind of a, I don't know exactly what they're called, a die cut title from My Mind's Eye. This is from the Lost and Found 2 collection, you can already see I have pop dots on it um, from picking it off my last card. So I'm just going to add a few more. And I'm raising this up because I want to put buttons that are peeking out from behind it. You'll see in a second. So I kind of want that a bit like that, kind of halfway above the seam here of the envelope to the pattern paper. There we go. And then basically what I'm going to do to finish this card is use up a ton of my button supply. Uh, I have this whole huge thing and that is just really the tip of the iceberg with my buttons. I just collect them from everywhere. Although I want to point out a few of these ones I'm using in here. These two really pretty ones are from the October Afternoon Farmhouse Buttons which are beautiful. They're plastic buttons and they have these really great designs on them. I just love them. Okay, so what I'm going to do to adhere these is just normally I would sew them on if I'm putting them on a layout or one on the card. I love the look of a little bit of twine or something wrapped through the button, but for s just to speed up this card because there are so many buttons, I'm just going to adhere them with some pop dots. Or, sorry, not pop dots, glue dots. And I'm going to do six above approximately, I think, and six below. Just and I like to keep the buttonholes kind of peeking out like that. And I'm just tucking them under where they look kind of pleasing to the eye. Not really a rhyme or reason to this. And this is kind of going to be the boring part of my very quick card today. Alrighty, so I have six buttons on the top, and I'm going to see if it works out to have six on the bottom. It should, even though they're all different sizes. It uh, hopefully will work nicely here. Alright, probably one last one here, a little brown guy. And 
and there we have it. So I'm done. I think, you know, it's kind of a different card, kind of cute. I'm not really sure if I love this um, string here. I don't really know what to do with it. I might wrap it around and leave it like that. It kind of looks just like a bit of an umbilical cord hanging off there. Maybe I'll just snip it off. I haven't totally decided. I'm sure you'll see in the picture what I end up doing with it. But that is my card for today. Oh, one last thing I want to show you is I have an old gift card here. And this is um, really the beauty of this card with the little envelope here. Sure, you know, normally you could tuck it like that on the card if you hadn't done this. But the way I've sewn it here, you just slide it right in there. And it's going to stick out perfect. And you can just leave it hanging out just a little bit so the recipient knows it's there. And that'll still fit in a envelope, a standard size envelope. And that is my card for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. It was kind of quick and different, and I apologize. Uh, next time I'm going to make sure my camera is recording what I want it to be recording. And uh, that's it for this week. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you next time.